days in a row of vape mail. What? What? I hope I know what this is. I'm very disappointed. I took out all my bits for this. Make sure, make sure. eBay, the grandest place on earth. Uh, da -da. Can you even see that? Three. Count them. Three. Center posts. Oh, if I could open it. Three center posts and three insulators for the fogger. V4. Let's pull one out. Oh, let's pull an insulator out too. Why not? We got them. We might as well use them, right? Oops, I was sorry. It'd be easier to see if I go like this. The insulator. I got three of these bits right here. The center post. For ten dollars. Three of them for ten dollars. Good. His mine is all messed up. How do you get that out of there? Pretty easy. Disassemble your tank. You're left with the base that you have to work on anyhow, right? And on the fogger V4, it's got an adjustable center pin. And you pull out the center pin, which is copper, so be careful. Yeah, be careful. And then we have uh, a screw right there. Nice long pin that goes up through the center of your deck. See that? There's the insulator. I'll put this back on. Not straight by any means, but there it is. Pull it off. Camera's awfully dim today. That's good because uh, I'm glad there's an insulator in there because mine's pretty weak sauce and pretty beat up. Uh, yeah. I think we'll just uh, toss those. Now this is the one. That I just pulled out. Not that you could tell. At the moment, it's working fine. But I know if I tra tried to trap a wire in there, it wouldn't work. Give me this shiny new bit. Mind me at all. I'm just checking it out a bit. Did I mess the two up? Please hold for the next available representative. That'd be messed up if I messed them both up, right? Just dropped them down right next to each other, and uh, now you don't know which one's which. Oh, that didn't just happen, did it? I don't know. It might have. Don't mind me. Fast forward if you wish. 
that's supposed to be the old one. And this is supposed to be the new one. Although it looks opposite to me. Uh, why would you do that? I don't know. Why would you do that? Well. The new insulator is slightly, slightly wobbly. I'm going to grab another one out of here. Because that's what I do. I mess stuff up. And I'll figure it out later. So we'll grab a fresh one. Stick it in the hole. Stick it in the hole. Hold that somewhat center with our finger. And notice I don't use the very uh, correct size screwdriver for this. So it does get a little upset at me at times. And uh, doesn't like to let me thread in my adjustable copper center pin. Which would be a bummer, right? Do not mind the man behind the curtain. He's there for show. That should be ever so tight enough, right? Put my adjustable center pin, maybe, back in. Really got to learn to use the uh, correct screwdriver for that, so I don't uh, muck this bad boy up right here. And I just put it back in, so it's just uh, just barley jutting out a little bit. And there you go, replaced deck. Now. I was going to uh, rebuild this. I'm going to take it down a little bit. But uh, I realize, just like you realize, my phone ain't built for this. And uh, I'll say this, anytime you're playing with the top of your device, before you even wick it or coil it or whatever, check it without any coils in it. I have the same issue with the k and the Fogger, and that is uh, shorts. Why? Because juice and whatnot can get in there, muck it all up, and you get all the splashing numbers. It's awesome. It doesn't really hurt the performance any. It's just for sound mind, you know, my sound mind. However you want to say that. I really want to recoil this on video. I will, but uh, it's a big pain in the butt. You're not really going to be able to see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm just cutting some 28 gauge. So if you're not interested, go ahead and turn this video off. But I'll try it. Big pain in the butt. I would rather recoil and re-wick a pro tank and recoil this. Because you don't have a lot of options. You don't. They loosen up my deck screws. Wow, that one's uh, not the bestestest. I'm gonna look at that again. I 
whatever. Sorry. Just woke up a little while ago. Puts me in a whistling mood. Kind of soda either. Why is that? We're gonna do uh five reps. Let's do five reps. Twenty-eight gauge a uh, three mil. So you can't see what I'm doing because I got big old fat fingers. Oh, yeah. And I like to grab the ends of my wire with the old needle nose. Give her a nice little tug. Everybody likes a nice little tug every now and then. And that's five. Take the other screwdriver that's exactly the same size. It does make it slightly easier. If you have two screwdrivers that are the same size. You never show us what your coil looks like here. Hold on. Let me let me give her a little tug, and then I'll show you. Tug them even, and your coils even. Would you be able to see it? It's just five wraps of 28 gauge. If I get myself out of here, it might actually focus. And that be all it is. I ah, will just take the first one we wrapped. She won't be able to see this. No matter. I can't put it up here over me. I can't. Where does a chain? And uh, so you all you see is my hands. I, I don't know. Right, fall over. Walk closer. Walk closer. It's like an advertisement. I'm a billboard today. Look at that. Okay, which coil we want to use first doesn't really matter. Nobody curves. You just want to center your coil over the airflow holes. And yes, I built chimney coils in this and it works just fine. However, I don't care to do that today. I'm going to bend oh, this lead at 90 degrees because I can. Because I can. I get it close to the deck and I like to wrap it one turn. And then I can pull a little bit. And that will straighten out my mess right there. It's a nice mess. You see that? Beautiful mess. Now, that puts that coil just about where I want it. I just bring the leads down. Out of my way for now. There's nothing to hold that stupid screwdriver up. So, I just end up letting it be for right now. 
Go to this side. You got a handle going that way, out of your way, right? You got a handle going this way, out of your way, or so you think. And like I did the other side, I'm just gonna bend that up 90 degrees so the one wire is going that way. I like to trap my wires the correct way, and that is the screw goes righty tighty. So you wrap your wire around righty tighty. So as it's capturing it, yes, it'll pull it a little bit, leave a little slack. Not a big deal. Hard to do when you just wake up. Play with this. Let's see here. Use the fogger top. Look at that. That's almost perfect. You can't see anything now. Ha ha ha. So, I'll place Koopy number two down on the deck surface. Yeah, I figured I'd move it, whatever. Get in your... Fat fingers in there with all this much to do about nothing here. Can be quite the chore, but we get it wrapped on the screw there. Let's see. Please hold. Not a lot of commentary going on in this video today, but it is what it is, folks. Don't mind me at the moment. I am simply getting my coils pulled out from the center at the moment. See how this new positive screw reacts. Now, I'm going to pull my screwdrivers out here. Maybe. And you can see what kind of wonky mess that is. You see that mess? That's just... A horrible looking mess. You really can't uh, see it to appreciate it in my camera. But, you know. Looks like two spiders having fun in there or something. Now I'm just going to make sure they're both snug. I'm going to just... Test this on the ohmmeter real quick, but I need all these up out of the way. 0.6. Should be fine for me. Why do you wrap yours so low? I tend to enjoy it. Uh, caught... Uh, I was listening to the end of uh, Dimitri's show with Basil Ray on it there uh, the other the other day. I think I actually listened to it this morning. My days run together, and uh, we're kind of talking about how oh, all these guys are out there. Blowing clouds, blowing clouds. It can't be satisfying. Actually, I like to uh, blow the clouds. When I was smoking, it was more about the smoke than the nicotine. Um, that would have been a nicotine-free cigarette. I probably could have smoked all day. You know? You understand? 
You understand the words coming out of my mouth? So, I like a little bit of clouds. I think I just mucked that one up. Muck it, muck it, muck it, muck it. Because that felt super loose when I did that. I'll give him a little tweak. That's why you don't do these on camera. Right? So, we're still at point six. Nothing funny going on. We're good. We're good. See? I do have a mech over here. Side note. Side note. The Z-Max Mini with the extension tube lasted all night long. This was a full tank. It's at about half. When I got home, the uh, the uh, battery life, because you can check that on this goofy thing, the battery life uh, thing said uh, it was only down to 3.6 volts. And if you remember, or if you saw yesterday's, when I put the little extension tube on here, um... I pulled this out of my, mech, the 18650, I pulled this out of my mech mod, which I had been using uh, that battery with my K-Fun. So there was about 4 volts. It was right at the 4 volt mark when I put it in here. Works wonderfully. And uh, it seems to hit a lot harder than that little 18350. I don't know why. There shouldn't be any difference from a fresh charge 18350 to a fresh charge 18650. However, uh, the drop off rate um, is almost non existent compared to the stupid uh, little 18350. Yeah, I know. Everybody likes their little 18350 devices. I know. I know. It's small. I can take it places. Yeah, yeah, you can take it. That's what I have to say about that. Don't mind me. I'm just cutting a little piece of cotton. I'm a little ahead of myself. So, I'm going to need my mech for this. Because my Z-Max Mini will not fire anything below 1.2. Mmm. Got to get a taste of that before I anything i'm gonna put some juicy juice in this when i'm done mixed with some vg juice just a little bit it's probably gonna hurt me real bad as you know all my juicy juice is really high nicotine see it pulse is pretty good Oof, oof. There must be a cat out there or something. Hmm. On the fogger, it's very difficult. Sorry, I wasn't even nowhere near camera angle on that. But uh, on the fogger, it's very difficult to uh, squish your coils in with the way those wires go, man. You can try all you like. But it's almost like you got a first... Find a good spot to go in, and then work from there. These are uh, probably my worst coils I've ever put in one of these. I should use the tweezers, I think. Tweezers might be a more viable option for this. You don't want to uh, grab your coil while you're in the button here. Yeah, this is turning out like crud. So what do we do when that happens? We reinsert our screwdriver. If you haven't mucked it up too bad. And you just give it a nice little tug. Slide it over where you need it. Do whatever fiddling you need to do. Some people don't like it uh, closer to the deck, but 
I actually like it a little closer to the deck. Because if it gurgles, I know it's getting fluid, right? If nothing happens, I won't know. Somehow, maybe you guys already noticed that, but somehow I built uh, my coils the same way, but I put them on backwards. Whatever, man. What I should have done was built my coils as opposites and put them on so both my negatives were going wow I just cannot straighten that out can I so both my negatives were coming off one way and both my positives were coming off another way wow that is even more crooked this is why I don't like to rebuild the fogger and I really was thinking about, and I don't know why I was thinking about it, but I was thinking about a, a I'm not even there yet, ribbon wire build on here, you know, flat canthal. Um, but uh, given the way the screws are on this, that would be uh, near impossible. For me, at least. I'm sure someone out there is like, oh, you can do that. Yeah, you probably can. A lot of people said you couldn't do anything with a pro tank, and yeah, you can rebuild that. You can rebuild a Spire Nautilus head. And you can do it. I've done it. It's, uh, But I don't think I want to play with uh, flat Canthal on here. These ain't the prettiest, but they're going to glow the same. Look at that. Two tiny, tiny coils. Now, the only problem with that is... Yeah, it should be built a little higher. I agree. I agree, I agree. But we're going to see how it does. Probably burn the heck out of it. Right away. Oh, I just roll up some cotton. One nice thing about the fogger is... It sure don't take a lot of cotton. I mean, this is enough to wick this fogger uh, for four coils worth, really. Really it is. But you end up just wasting and throwing it away. I got one higher than the other. Because I'm the best. I'm not. That's closer. Happier with that. Not the happiest. But I'm happier. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Bad cotton. Why won't you play nice cotton? Anywho. Start out there. I love that dog. Dog is the best. Barks at everything. Please hold while I kick her out of the window. Hey, you. Hey.
She loves it when people go visit the neighbor. Loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. And this is uh, way more cotton than I need. Let's get rid of that. That's way more than I need. And usually when I wick these, I do it K fun style. And I put the uh, chimney piece in there first. And then just pull them up. What the heck? We're going to do everything a little bit differently today. Do do 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right to uh, fiddle with this thing. Don't mind me. It's cutting the fuzzies off my cotton there. Oh, puppy's back up. Call her a puppy, I don't know why. She's not a puppy. Morgy. Stay out of the window. You heard me. Stay out of the window. There is nothing in the window for you, my friend. Now... I do believe this is way more, way more than I need. So, you never want to cut too much off, but uh, you got to draw a line somewhere here. Come on, me. I'm just going to follow the uh, curvature of the would-be tank on here. That should give me something good enough to work with. I could just wet it and pull it up and whatnot. But I didn't want to do that. You kind of have to do that, though. Should have just left them long and, and cut them afterwards, huh? That's all right. We do what we do when we don't really care. I did wash my hands before I started this video. Although I did just touch the dog. We'll put some juice on here. What is this? I don't know. This is a juice, juice, juicy juice. But I'm not sure if I have the uh, cream soda in here. Or if this is uh, more of my, the blueberry waffles. I don't know. It smells like the cream soda, so we'll go with that. Now, we can go like that. And now it's just a big ball of stuff that you can't tell which way is which. It's fine with me. I'll figure it out. Juice is already coming out my airflow. There we go. It's barely even put any juice on here. It's already coming out my airflow. Gotta love that. Wrong screwdriver. Let's separate my cotton that I just balled up for no reason. First, we'll work on separating it out. Yeah, I did that the long way for y'all. I'm going to end up putting too much down on my deck surface here. Come on, separate. There's no wrong way to eat a rhesus, man. Right? You've all heard that. If I would have done this the uh, correct way, I want to just uh, messed up my airflow. 
but I did. On one side, for sure. Don't mind me. Like I said, if you didn't want to see it, turn it off. The bugger takes me forever and a day to fiddle with. Wow. You know, I didn't really think I put that much juice in here. You saw me. I just put a few dabs on there. What are we looking at here? Jesus. Got juice going everywhere. I put a few dabs on there. works. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. I don't have my airflow control ring on there, so you can't blame that. You can, however, blame that uh, I don't have any room. Let me grab one of these bits of wires here. You can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. The coil, between the coil and the wall there, there's a little bit of cotton in there. Yeah, see that whole area? It's nicely filled up with cotton. It's lovely. I got juice all over my finger. So, let's try a little piece of wire here. Because my screwdriver is just not fitting in there. Give her a nice little bend in her, crimp it together. There we go. Slide it in there. Slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it. Much better. Much better. Now that you have that together, let's not fire it for a little while here. Let's put our let's put our top of the chimney on. Takes me a lot less time to rebuild a RDA than it does an RTA. That is for sure. Now, I don't have my drip tip over here for my flogger. Isn't that terrible? Always forgetting something. Is it still 1.6? Well, let's check it out as long as you're hanging around here. 0.6. Fogger is a pain in the butt to build on. However, I do like the quality of vape. Um, I was able, at one point, to put... Parallel 28 gauge in this thing. And uh, if you get it wicked right, it is a hellacious vape. Because it will just chuck the clouds. Isn't that what this is for? It's called the fogger, right? Come on. It does take a little while to. Fill the old girl up. Especially when you stick your tip of your bottle in there and get it stuck in the threads. Do, 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 do. There's one uh, nice thing about these juicy bottles. They have that almost needle tip like. So it's easier to fill up these, but it takes longer. 
What do I want? One more squeeze? I don't like filling them all the way. I like a little air bubble in there. We leave an air bubble in there. Can you see that? No, you can't. Well, there. See the air bubble? I'll fill it up all the way. There's uh, easily another mill of juice I could put in there. But I'm not gonna. I need the air bubble for proper wicking. Proper, proper wicking. Well, nothing came out the top. Grab the fogger top or just pull the one I got sitting on the cape one off. I don't have this adjusted for it, so there's a gap. Bring it back. Ooh, let's push your way out there. Um, yeah, K fun. Oh, I think my K fun is at like 0.8. It matches at least. It's black. You take a couple of uh, dry pulls on it first. Oh, there's some gurgle. Yeah, that's cream soda. It's cream soda way higher than I should be having right now. I'm gonna have to dumb that down some more. Fogger is a lot like vaping on a uh, on an RDA. It really is the dual coil and the way the airflow is. And yes, I have. My airflow holes are drilled out on my fogger to match the inside deck holes, which are like three mil. You can stick my three mil screwdriver in there. Um, right? Or are they two? They're two. Yeah, they're two. Just fits in there. Whatever, man. I forget things. I forget things. It's been a long time since I drilled those and all that whackness out. That's the kind of that's the kind of build right there. That uh, because of the harshness of the higher levels in here, that I wish I could turn down. Working just fine. It's not about that kick in the back of the throat that I'm actually getting from this. Um, for me. Some people may enjoy that. I'm going to throw that old insulator out too. Some people may enjoy that harshness. I don't enjoy that harshness. I don't mind it with uh, alcohol, but uh, as far as a vape goes, I like a pretty smooth vape with a lot of vapor. And that is really, really harsh. Needless to say, I will not be putting that juice back in here. As tasty as it is, it's like sandpaper going down your throat. <coughs> yeah, like that. Works, rebuilt, rewicked, all in a grand total of 45 minutes. Ooh, you got time? You got time. It chucks a nice cloud. It does do what it says it does. Fogger for a reason, right? It's a fogger. It's a fog machine. And even if the airflow ring was on there, it doesn't really shut off the airflow totally. Some still gets by the threading in there or whatever. But uh, you can... You can mouth to lung it, but uh, I can mouth to lung it like right now. The only problem with doing this with no airflow ring on there 
is I'm not causing enough vacuum to keep my wicks wet. Hence the frog it up. There you go. Center post came in from, does it say who it's from? Mm -hmm. I want to say that. Let's see here. On eBay, do they have username on here? TVO. From TVO. We don't know what TVO is. So, we'll go on the packaging. Pitney Bowes. Combass price, no surcharge. See, it doesn't really say anything. TVO. Doesn't give me the eBay username. And I don't have the computer on, so I can't look it up for you. But uh, 10 bucks for three of them. 10 bucks for three of them. What the fogger cost you anyhow? Like 30, 30, 40 bucks, right? works it works you'll have fun now because i know i will